Hey folks, how are you doing? I was sat here reading this Convoluted Universe, book one by Dolores Cannon, just before I go and make some lunch. I was also thinking about what kind of content I wanted to do today. I thought, shall I do a video where I look at some global predictions for 2024? I thought, mm. then I thought, Shall I look at the energy so far in January? Because it's been a little crazy. It's been a lot crazy, actually. It got to a point this week where I, I looked at the news and I was like, it kept flashing up on my phone. And I was like, is that fake? Because it's got that bizarre this week. I even thought at one point, has Sky been hacked? Sky News. And I was gonna Google it. And I just thought, don't Google it, Claire. Just let it play because if the news has got that nuts this week, I was like, they've been hacked. And I, I half expected to see a big, you know, breaking news that Sky News had been hacked. It's not happened. Not that I can see. So I'm reading this book and I basically just got to the part of Pau Atlantis and I got to this sentence. Where is it? So, we have returned to make sure that mankind does not make the same mistakes again. This is the same mistakes that the people of Atlantis made. By living in these tumultuous times, we can repay karma that would normally require 10 lifetimes. So we all volunteered to be here during these times. I'll read it again. By living in these tumultuous, I can never say it, I own it. By living in these crazy, crazy dark times, I'll rephrase it, we can repay karma that would normally require 10 lifetimes. So we all volunteered to be here during these times. Right, let me put a bookmark in. Let me put my book there. Let me take the glasses off and let me talk to you. When I got that, I was like, oh my God, because this is also a conversation that has come up this week in sessions. You know, why is life, it comes, to be fair, it comes up a lot. Why is life so difficult for so many people? Why is the world so difficult and so dark in so many ways right now? Why does it feel like we're in Mad Max? For some people, this difficult, this really heavy difficultness can go on and on and on and on and on. For some people, it can be periods of their life, certain decades, certain years, certain months. That's your answer. That's your answer. And it's weird because I've had this conversation this morning in a session or a similar conversation that we are coming together with people and as a world and things are getting heavier and heavier because we're here to clear something. If we don't do it this way, we're gonna be doing this for years and years and years and years and years, which we have done. So, going forward from this, and this isn't a magic wand, I appreciate that, but when our difficulties come up, rather than doing what we've done in the past, oh my God, the life, I mean, I've had a weird morning, Oh my God, life is so difficult. People are always trying to get me, hurt me, abuse me, betray me, cause pain to me. Stop yourself. You can feel all that, but then have a moment where you give yourself time out and say, okay, okay I'm not gonna say I'm not feeling that, but I'm also gonna give myself time out. Put your hand on your chest. Give yourself time out and actually really step back from the situation and look at it through the eyes of what your guides would be looking at, okay? Try and visualise what they'd be seeing. Not just your guides, but your higher self. So then tune into it and say, step out of the polarity, you're wrong, I'm right, I'm all of that nonsense. Step out of it, step away from it, but keep observing it, and actually ask it, what are you actually trying to show me? One of the things I said this morning is, if something really hurts, it's because they are showing some, they are showing something back to you that you have done before in a past incarnation or in this present life and it's coming up to bite you on the bum. 
don't lose yourself in, I wonder what lifetime that was, and I wonder what year that was in, and I wonder if it was in her old car, and I wonder, don't lose yourself in that, because in that moment, it'll just confuse you. Just think, okay, here is something, something coming up from the past, could be this present incarnation, could be past incarnation, that's been shown back to me. Sit with it, don't rush this process, but I'm, I'm rushing through it now because I'm on camera. Sit with it, and this process can take days, sit with it, and then say to it the situation and the others involved, thank you for showing up at this time to show me what I needed to see and to show me how I needed to change and how I needed to grow in order to clear this karmic debt. I'm not sure I understand all the different dynamics, but I'm going to try step by step to work through this. Universe, I do not want to go through this situation as a victim. I want to come out and through this situation as a survivor, as a wiser, more loving, more compassionate version of myself. Depending on what the situation is, depending on where you're at with that situation, this could take some time. There could also be a purge where there could be an emotional purge, floods of tears, maybe an anxiety attack. Maybe you become exhausted afterwards. Maybe you get pain in the body. Maybe you're just going to ugh, into a bit of a slump afterwards. Fair enough. Maybe afterwards you go, whoa, and you feel really buzzy. Make sure you ground. Make sure you ground all the time. Um, and just keep checking in with yourself throughout all the process of this, the next few days. And actually, that is what's going to get you through it. If you then find that once you've gone through that, there's still things that need clearing, that's when you can start thinking about empowering yourself. So therapy, healing, um, all that kind of stuff. So, because actually when you go for therapy or healing, you're actually empowering yourself. And make sure that you go into therapy and healing with an empowerment sense of, sense of self, that you are open to all aspects. So if the therapy says to you, actually, there's this coming up in your personality. Don't then just slam it down. Be open to it. Because to get through this, this being this world as it is now, your own personal journey, you're going to have to listen to and hear some difficult things. You're going to have to experience some difficult things. You're going to have to experience tough love and some painful, deeply painful home truths in order for you to have that moment that I've just described to you, in order for you to be able to then regain your sovereignty and your power. If you continue to go through, this world is, uh, this world is a dark place. They are out to get us. They are going to do this. <gasps> What's coming next? you will keep looping in that. And it's the same in your personal stuff. You'll keep looping. So you may find you'll get out of that situation and it's like, ooh, and then you'll find yourself into something similar. Different me, so slightly different situation, same karma. So I just thought that was a really powerful moment. And then, well, just before I got that, um, a Mel Robbins video came up, which again, Mel Robbins stuff, which has just recently come on my radar, is hugely, hugely powerful. Um, and, and the video, that she, what was the video she was on about? Because I've seen a few today. Um, not, not losing yourself in the worry of what are they going to do next. As in they, it could be a boss, your lover, your parent, um, the, the parent of your child, your next door neighbour. What are they going to do next? What, what are they going to do next? Let them. Was it Mel Robbins that did that whole thing about let them? I don't know, it was someone similar to her. Um, your power is in here, and that's not the ego power. I'm right, you're wrong, all of that bollocks. But it's, it's something very different. It's something very different. Um, it's something much more deeper. It's something much more deeper. And actually embracing these moments that we're getting and actually allowing yourself as well, allowing yourself the moment and the space to see it in a different light. Um, 
And that in itself can be painful, it can be hugely triggering. We have to get over this trigger, all of us, me included. We have to get the hell out of this trigger zone because trigger, every time we're triggered, it's because something's getting reflected back to us. We've got to get out of the trigger zone. And the only way we're going to get out of the trigger zone is because we're, we've got to clear the trigger. We've got to clear the trigger, the mirror. Um, to be able to move forward to better times. Let's pull a card. Sword of Light by Archangel Michael. I'm sure what I'll call this video something like, why is the world so horrific? I can't stand this. Oh well, I'll go dramatic. Gets people who see you because if somebody else is feeling that, like oh, God, yeah, Claire's feeling that as well. Let's and then they're coming and like, oh, why is the world so horrific? I can't stand this anymore. Let's see what goes on. Oh, you're a drama queen. No, I'm just trying to help. Be the real you. Your greatest power comes from being who you truly are. Don't let anyone sway you from us, from expressing your authentic self. I knew this card was going to come up. Increase your knowledge. Education brings opportunities. Take a course, pick up a book, find a mentor to teach you what your soul longs to know. So this reminds me of the X8 records, your own personal records, the records of the world. Um, and what we can get from that and what's coming up now. We don't want to look at that, I don't want to look at the love and light thing. I don't, I don't look at, I want to look at Atlantis in all its glory. I want to look at all the nice stuff, all the fluffy unicorns. You know, just walking along the rainbows. Don't want to look at the shadow. Can't stand to look at the shadow. We've got to get over that. We've got to be able to face this. And it's a bit like when we go to university or college you want to be a doctor you're going to have some major exams to be a doctor um you're going to have to go through some you're going to have to talk to different people with different expertise you're going to have to trust them you're going to have to listen to some major brain twisting lectures you're going to have to have some nail biting moments whilst you're waiting for your results but to come out the other side as a doctor, as a qualified doctor, I'm sure anyone coming out of that, whether it, whatever it is, a doctor, nurse, bank manager, something that requires a lot of deep teaching and deep learning, um, will say it's worth it. It's, um, but it's learning, it's advancement. hermit wisdom it's going within and the king of wands action to get through this you we have to really really go within we have to really look at all of those cracks be wary of those that are going to everybody else because every time you're going they're that they're that they're that you're actually losing precious time on yourself and on your own vessel and on your own energy and it's just distraction. It's about really focusing inward of what's going on. It's the hermit. It's deep. The people that are finding it easier to transition at this time, I don't mean transition as in die. I mean to transition through this world the way it is now, the personal, the external and the global, is are the people that are really in tune with themselves. They're in tune deeply in tune with themselves they're not slabbing labels on themselves they're not separating themselves from people they're in tune with themselves they're in tune with their with their with their masters with their inner masters they're in tune with their darkness their shadow their fractures they're also in tune with their light they're able to be connected to the earth but also reach up as well um so hope you enjoyed that Thanks for watching. Remember that. So that's why things are heavy right now. Because we need... I mean, many people will say to their guides, look, 
I've got a lot of karma to clear. I am sick of coming back, coming back, coming back. Hit me with it. And you guys will be like, are you sure? Because if that happens, you go down there, you're going to have a shit show. It's going to be intense. No, hit me with it. Please hit me with it. Okay, but before we let you go down there, just be aware of this. And be aware that when you get down there, you have to switch back into this. Because if you don't, you're just going to spiral. And you're going to end up in so much pain. And there won't be anything we can do for you because we're not allowed to save you. And you're going to want to be saved by everybody else. Nope, it's fine. Let me do it. Okay. Namaste. See you later. See you on the other side. Mwah. And what happens is they come to the earth and it's like, <gasps> and we get it all gets wiped because we're meant to reconnect. And it's like, oh my God, this is awful. And that is, there's a lot of that around at the minute. They've forgotten what they're, what they're here for. They've forgotten their own karmic debt, their own past lives where they have been the body, where they have been. And we've all done it. We've all been. If you are authentic on your spiritual path, you will be open to the fact that you have been and done everything on your wheel. And you'll be open to that and you'll be embracing that. I remember a client saying to me, just give me it clear. Anything you want to tell me, tell me it. And that client went from boom to boom. Honestly, they, they, they went, they, 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 they healed, they awakened and brilliant. And they're living a full life. There was none of that. Please don't tell me anything that's going to upset me or trigger me. They were like, I want to know, tell me. And I was like, okay, fair enough. And, and this person was like, you know, I need to know because this is important in this incarnation, Claire. And that was such a tonic to be able to work with someone that wanted to know the light, the dark, the good, the bad, the ugly, because they were desperate to heal and get out of their stuff. And you know what? They did. Life wasn't perfect, but they did. And they went from strength to strength to strength. And now they're able to go forward and they're able to go forward on their own two feet with the head held high. And it was such a blessing. And it's a blessing. And it's a blessing when you can get to that stage of stage yourself as well. It's freeing. It's freeing to be able to sit with your guides and say, give me it. Tell me, show me where I'm going wrong here. Show me. It frees your guides up. It frees you up. It educates you. It enlightens you. And you feel so much better. The minute you start going, no, no, la, 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 you've lost the game. You've lost the game. So, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. Like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And yes, I will now do the daily tarot message. Love to all. Bye.